um, from Marissa. Dear Lord of Most Wisdom, I was brought up. See, not many people know that title. That's one of my more obscure titles. I was brought up in the Christian faith and have always tried to follow the Bible to some extent. I have recently started spending more time trying to read, understand, and follow faithfully. I have noticed that I repeatedly struggle and fail with battling jealousy. I am a student athlete at college and have been working very hard for the last two and a half years to compete at nationals. This year, I have been pathetically underperforming while a freshman will more than likely be making nationals in the same event. She's a wonderfully smart, beautiful, dedicated, and hardworking individual, and I want to be her friend. However, even when I talk with her outside of practice, I feel a competitive urge and slightly jealous. Do you have any suggestions on what I should do to stop regarding her as competition and drop my jealous feelings of her so I can have a true friendship? Thank you in advance, Marissa. This is a big deal. You know, Ernest Hemingway, he wrote a whole book about this called The Green Hills of Africa. The moral of the story, which is is envy ruins everything. Jealousy ruins everything, which I truly believe. I wrestled with it a great deal in youth and I overcame it. And to be honest, I'm not I've tried to go back and trace what I did to overcome it. I mean, I learned to take great pleasure in the achievements of my friends. Now, listen, I've I've done most of the things in my life that I wanted to do. I have like achieved, that doesn't mean that everything I did always succeeded, but I've achieved everything that I set out to do. And so that does kind of make you relaxed. But, but it it was, I, I really do believe it was more than that. I really understood two things early on. One, I, I understood that I wasn't actually jealous of other people's achievements. I was angry that I wasn't achieving something. So that's the first thing. You say in your letter that you have been pathetically underperforming. And the question I, the, that immediately comes into my mind is why? Are you pathetically underperforming because you're not working hard enough? Are you pathetically underperforming because you don't have as much skill as you thought you had? Why are you pathetically underperforming? Because that's your real problem. Your real problem is not that this girl is, is going to the nationals. It's that you're not and you're not living up to your expectations. And so that's the problem you have to solve. I mean, even when I experienced envy, in the old days, I realized that I didn't want my friends to fail. I loved my friends. I wanted them to succeed. I was actually happy for them. I was just dissatisfied with my own life. And that was a very, very important distinction. So the question here is, you know, why aren't you inspired by this uh, competitor to do better? Why aren't you using her skills to move you up the ladder so that you're doing better? Why are you underperforming? That's the, the first question uh, that, that comes in, into my mind. The other thing I learned to teach myself is where my joy came from. What made me joyful? What made my life joyful? And what I learned was everything in my life that was joyful came from love whether it was big love, like my love for my wife and my family, or my love for my work, which gave me big joy, or little love, like my love of doing puzzles, which gives me joy. You know, like I've learned that to actually live into the things I love and live into the joy of those things. And that starts means that you look at other people who have things that maybe you don't have, like a billion dollars. And you think, would that give me joy? It really, I don't love money that much. I mean, I, you know, I like having enough money. I want to have enough money to do the things I want to do. But I'm I'm not in love with money, so it wouldn't give me that much joy. That means that I don't envy people who have a billion dollars. You know, I don't envy people who who do things at a level that I don't think is very good, even if it wins them popularity, because I love excellence. I love writing well. I love doing what I do well. And even if it means that my stuff is a little quirky and offbeat and not as popular as some guy who's writing for the bestseller, you know, it just doesn't bother me because I live into the joy. So those are my two recommendations. Hemingway was right. Envy ruins everything. It is a, uh, it, it just saps your joy. So my two questions are, you know, why are you not doing what you want to do? What, how can you solve that problem? And two, what really gives you joy? Does your athleticism give you joy? Does competing give you joy? Does doing this stuff do, give you joy? Do those things, and then you won't have to envy anybody.